It actually just goes. Oh my. Dead. Super dead. Welcome back to Forza Horizon 4 and Thanos car. For those of you who haven't seen it just yet, last week we didn't cover one of the new cars because we were covering Avengers Endgame. If you haven't seen that video or if you haven't seen the movie just yet, don't worry about it. There's no spoilers in the in the video. If you missed that video, I will link to it down below where we use this thing and do I would say one of the coolest and most intricate mini games I think we have ever done before. Anyways, it's a brand new season here in the lovely United Kingdom. The winter is finally gone, which means I can play this game again, which is awesome. We have a very interesting car. I would usually say a very good car, but I don't think I can use the word good. We've got the ultimate of ultimate Chavmobile. Chavmobile. The Vauxhall Corsa. The Vauxhall Corsa isn't a great car. However, it is the biggest meme car I would say in this game. So we gotta go get... 50% completion to unlock this thing. We're already at 24%. As per always, if you guys need help doing any of these, feel free to join our Discord, go into gaming chat, and you can find other people to help you out with things like the trial, the playground games events. If you need any help, there's a link down below. Join the Discord, go into gaming chat, and you got it under lock, and hopefully you'll, uh, you'll have some easier time. Oh. Oh, never mind. That's the wrong thing. <laughs> I was like, how did we do that so quickly? And then we've also got a Ken Block monster energy hat and a denim jacket. I'll take the denim jacket. Oh, oh, I completely forgot the Forza-thon shop for this week. Oh, I'm so sorry. All right, a Koenigsegg Agera. That's actually a pretty good deal. 400 points for that, that's not bad. A Mercedes E63 AMG, one of my personal favorites. That's very expensive. Yes, sir! We've done it 50% completed on the Spring Championship. And the- I don't know why they call it a Vox Corsa, all one word. Well, there you go. Like I was saying, if you need any help, feel free to join the Discord. Let's go and jump in our ricey of ricey cars. The ultimate Chavmobile. Devs did some good stuff with the customization. I guess that's where we'll start with this thing then, because nobody wants to see me drive around in a stock Corsa. A 17 year old's wet dream. Look, it's got little fins back here so you know it's legit. That's how you know it's quick. It's also got blue brakes. In the wing mirror, you can see through. That's for better aerodynamical grip. Yep, the Vauxhall boffins figured that one out brilliantly. Oh, 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 don't forget the center exhaust pipe. That's a triangle. Again, why would you have a Lamborghini? So my goal with this is to build the biggest meme car possible. So we're already front wheel drive, I think that's good. Then we've got the stock engine or a turbo rally engine. Wait, okay, everybody's saying keep it stock. Fine, 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 fine. We can make it rear wheel drive or all wheel drive. Both of those would be drastic improvements to the Vauxhall Corsa, so no. And then we got some good old body pa- <laughs> Have you seen what I've done to this already? We'll give it tire letters, that's how you know. Just. Don't pay attention, they're stuck onto race tires. Just imagine they're just like pencil crayoned on. This is literally the best car in the game. Oh, we need some wheels. What wheels would a chav use? Could I call Theo for a second? Oh my god. How about wheel spacers? Oh my god. That actually makes us look quite a bit cooler. Oh my god. My inner chav is coming out. We definitely need some low. Now, an actual chav wouldn't actually be able to lower their car like this. You would just call up some of your bigger friends and ask them to sit in the back while you take your Instagram photo. And then we get to the horsepower department. Well, because we're a chav, all we're gonna do is chuck on a big exhaust in the... That's about it. <laughs> Wait, guys, I've put drift suspension on a car that's front wheel drive. We can impersonate our favorite YouTubers. Yanomize could do this for us. Oh my God. Oh, oh, don't forget. We also need to wrap our wing mirrors in faux carbon fiber. Hurricane's like, I'm gonna go blind looking at this. Jack has a brilliant idea. <laughs> yes! Don't pay attention to the fact that it doesn't fit. Oh, we need a black roof as well. This is the type of thing I would imagine Corsa drivers use instead of their sponsors. One last thing for the perfect Corsa driver, because I know there are some of you out there. That looks good. DJ says, I feel offended that my logo's on this. Hey DJ, thanks for making my logo in the game. 
Uh, I'm just gonna do this to repay you. Why does everybody want a Duolingo owl on here? I don't understand the Duolingo owl meme. I will be honest. People in Canada aren't this stupid. The meme mobile has arrived. Like I am okay. This is actually the stock engine in here with like 230 horsepower. It's not bad. DJ is like, can you drive it off a cliff and drive and dri and switch back to a stock one? It's ugly, but at least it's slow. <laughs> don't worry, we're doing this race at night, so we don't need to worry about the awful paint job for it. Everybody's like, my eyes are bleeding. <laughs> Just gonna bang it off the rev limiter like a 17-year-old would. It shoots big flame. I will say though, this definitely looks like something you could chuck outside of Tesco's parking lot and have like the most epic of car meets ever. I completely forgot, by the way, we're on drift suspension. I don't understand how this is working. In terms of global crises, there are some ones that are pretty high on the list. You know, pollution, world hunger, voxel courses, voxel courses with big wings on the back and quad exhausts. Okay, why did I choose such a long race for this? I really just want to... Just put this where it belongs. I think we've successfully made the worst car in the game because not only is it just a bad car, it's also so boring. You know, there's there's cars out there and then there's cars out there that make you wanna do that. I'm just saying, Forza should have given us Na or NASCAR neons for just one car. This would have been great. Wolf says he wants me to build a drag Corsa. If we're gonna do that, we need the big boy engine. We're gonna need all wheel drive. Guys, yeah, it needs a V12. Wait, I have another idea. So one of the other mods that I put on the cart, you can't see it, but it's a secret mod. It's a V12, don't worry about it. It has 660 horsepower. So like I said, this car's got an interesting feature. How did we get beaten? They destroyed my V12. That's not okay, game. Not okay. I'll be honest, I don't really know what happened there. That's kind of embarrassing, but don't worry about it. Okay, this thing with all-wheel drives is actually a little rocket ship. It actually just goes, oh my, dead, super dead. I don't even know why I'm cheering for this car. It's like, I don't even want to say it. I'm just like, Bleh. You know that feeling right when you're on the cusp of like vomiting. That's what I get while I'm driving this car. Voxel Corsa, which I'm totally not cheering for. If we could redeem ourselves after that awful drag race, that would be brilliant. Pay no attention to my engine sound being a little different now. It's all, okay. Can you all stop swinging on me? Every single one of you. Okay, look. Okay, the course is actually kind of fast with all wheel drive. This is how the uh, average Corsa driver likes to drive on the motorway, by the way. Just up the ass of a fellow Volkswagen. All right, goodbye, fellow Volkswagen. I finished the understeer for the Corsa is still the worst thing known to mankind, of course, after the Vauxhall Corsa. It's literally painful to drive and it does hurt me every... If I could just have done that at the very beginning, we could have wrote the thing off. I wouldn't have to do this. I don't even know why I want you to win. I just kind of want you to redeem yourself after that awful, shocking drag race. It's actually really fast. Like, to be honest, okay, if you actually put a good tune on this thing, tuned it up properly, weren't, wasn't driving around with drift suspension on and the world's most silly rear wing, and actually upgraded brakes, it would be kind of fast. It's, it's not the greatest thing to drive in its current configuration, but it works. How do we lose again? Are you kidding me? The game just doesn't want a Corsa to win. It knows. It totally knows. We got bipped by a Clio. How do we lose to a French car manufacturer? <coughs> if I actually vomit on stream, this would be a great car to do it with. I'm just saying. Guys, I think I know what we need to do with this thing. It belongs, it belongs somewhere. And I know exactly where. It's time to get rid of this. So I never, ever, ever Need to see it again. Keep going. Yes. Yes. Get rid of it. Get ready. Cue the explosion. Goodbye, Corsa. Ciao.